Speaking of Huck Finn, <gasps> I got a crazy story. Please tell us that crazy story. Have you guys ever heard of Mel's Hole? <laughs> Mel's Hole. Mel's Hole. No. This is the wildest thing I've heard in a while. Oh, okay. Okay. Go. <laughs> that's high. That's I, high standard. I heard it from. It's a well-known story in the sect of conspiracy theories. Do you want me to look anything up for it? Um. No, because okay. there's no pictures and stuff of it. Oh, snap. Glad I yeah. asked. Um, Mel's Hole, I listened to a podcast, Conspiracy Theories. They do a great job explaining it. It's like a 37-minute podcast. Hey, that's so go awesome. listen to that. That's awesome of you to What's shout out it? another podcast when you're using their content. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's um, not that hard, is it? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but uh, they do a great job explaining it. I'm just going to give you what I got from it. Cool. So I'm, I'm gonna, ready. I, I took bullet points from their podcast. So conspiracy, the the po- theor- conspiracy theories. Perfect. It's a Spotify podcast. Go subscribe. Yeah. Um, Mel's hole. All right. Here we go. So this dude named Mel, I think it was Mel Waters is his name. He bought this land in like central Washington in the nineties. And he had been living there for four years at the time. And then he, a huge piece of land, like 30 something acres of land. Okay. And um, he discovered there's a hole on his property. And, like, uh, he went up to a neighbor that had, like, a ranch by him or something. He's like, what's up with this hole, man? It's like, I can't see the bottom of it. And the guy's like, oh, yeah, neighbors, like, since forever have just been throwing trash down it. And, like, like we even throw, like, our dead cows down it and stuff. How big is this hole? Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> and he's like, oh, weird. And he's like, well, if you be, guys have been throwing this down like for a long time, he's like, you would think you'd see some trash start to pile up in it. And so this dude, he liked to fish. And so he had like a big rig set up for like shark fishing. Mm-hmm. And he had a spool of uh, fishing line on it that reached 1,500 yards, right? He tied something heavy to it and let it down, didn't hit the bottom. The oh reel's just gosh. running. Yeah. Wait, what is 1,500 yards in feet? 1,500 uh, times three, 7,500? Yeah. Oh. That's like 12 oh. yards. A yard is three feet. 45. 15 times three. <laughs> <laughs> 15 times three. Um, beautiful mind. It is 4,500. Be- yeah, 45. Yeah, it's 45. Beautiful mining it in your hand. Uh, right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, and he's like, this is wild. He's like, and so he's like, I got to find the bottom of this. So he bought more and more spools of fishing line. Uh, each spool was 5,000 yards long. It equated to the amount that he bought was 80,000 feet long. What? Never touched the bottom. Central no Washington? way. Yes, and he described this hole. It was a basically a nine <clears throat> foot, nine inches diameter. Never saw the bottom. He would throw like f- like high beam flashlights down into it. He would throw like these, uh, like the old TV tubes that like if they explode, they're really loud. Yeah. He would throw those down. Nothing ever hit the bottom. Which brings me to 1997, the My show. Birth year. Hey, look at that. What? 1997. She was born in 97. <laughs> Got it. The um, broadcast or the radio station Coast to Coast, which we've talked about before. Yeah. Uh, the host was Art Bell. He got a call one day and it was Mel. And Mel told him the whole story about this hole and stuff. And then like that just sparked like all these people were calling and like, well, have you tried this, that, that, all this weird stuff. Someone called in and is like, if this is 80,000 feet deep. The Mariana Trench, which we know is like one of the deepest yeah. mm-hmm. hole or uh, whatever on planet, what deepest deepest points in the ocean, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which the Mariana Trench is thirty five thousand eight hundred and seventy six feet deep. Thirty five thousand. Thirty five thousand. Only thirty five thousand. Yeah. But the biggest hole ever dug was in the Arctic Circle by Russia, and they got down to forty thousand feet, but they had to stop because there was so far down that. The heat down there started <gasps> melting, like, all the instruments. And, like, they said rocks became, like, pliable. Like, they are like, plasticky. Shut up. So they couldn't go past that. So they just gave up on the project. Mel's claiming this hole is twice as deep yeah. as this, right? Incredible. <clears throat> but he was telling the story of this hole. He's like, there's a lot of weird stuff about this hole. Dogs are afraid of this hole. <gasps> Animals are afraid of this hole. And he said, in fact, one of my neighbors once told me, that his dog died and he threw the dog down the hole 
And then he said the next morning that dog was on his porch. What? Like alive. 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 And so Mel made the joke. He said, when I die, throw me down that hole. Yeah, because I'll live. Yeah. Weird stuff. Bro. Um, so I'm just imagining this is just a portal to like somewhere in Tennessee and like and it's like just some dude's yard. Like, what is happening? Yeah. Why is where have all this trash over here? And Mel's like, <laughs> Why'd you throw your dog in my hole? Yeah, it was weird. Um but his wife, Mel's wife, worked for a university, like local university and stuff. And Mel went to some of the professors there that did uh, geology and stuff. Uh-huh. And he's like, can you come out and look at this hole? And they're all like, nah, like you're being weird and stuff. I would, for yeah, me, I'd just be like, yeah, I'll come look at it. <laughs> yeah. No one, everyone refused to come look at it. We'll do a podcast in that hole. <laughs> but after that, he went on coast to coast. Uh, Like a couple months or a year went by. Mel called back to Coast to Coast with an update on the whole. And he said, after that broadcast where I was on your show, he said, I was coming home one day and the access road to the hole was blocked off by, he said, military personnel. And he said, I need to, I need to go down this road. And they said, you can't, there was a plane crash. Yeah. And, okay. And we got to block it off. We got to investigate what happened. What the what? And he was like, starting to be like, let me down my own road. This is my private yeah. property. Mel grew medicinal plants Uh-oh. in his home. Is Come on, Mel. And they said, if you don't drop this, we'll throw you in prison for your Shut plants. Up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> what? And so he dropped it, right? Yeah. Um, but keeps going on, right? But there's also this weird story where the neighbor, he like he talked to another neighbor about this hole, and the neighbor's like, yeah, they're... um." there used to be these stone pillars erected around this hole like way before you ever moved onto this property. He said it looked a lot like Stonehenge. Or like Outlander. Like these, yeah, or Stonehenge. Or like Brave. <laughs> like Stonehenge. <laughs> <laughs> um, and he said that neighbors had reported seeing from this hole this black beam shoot from this hole. Like every now and then. It's just this, They said it was darker than dark. This beam just go, Right? So a lot of weird stuff. Yeah. But it wasn't until after the thing where the government started showing up. But after the government showed up and blocked off the road, whatever, it was hard for him to get access back to it. But then they left, whatever. Realtor called Mel and was like, hey, we want to purchase or someone wants to purchase your land. Yeah. And he's like, "Uh, no, I'm going to hold on to it. Yeah. Life goes on, blah, blah, blah. And um, him and his wife got divorced. His wife... Whose whose fault was it? I don't know. (laughs) Probably no. No, no. There's something in this hole. He's like obsessed with this hole. (laughs) Shut up. Um, You don't understand. (laughs) Yeah. So, long story short, not long story short. We're in the middle of the story. (laughs) Um, 